Well, just going to say good morning, Yami BTV, but it's afternoon. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm going to listen to you, Jay Shaw. I'm going to listen to you, Vinny. I'm going to listen to you, Marvel Boys. Uh, we're not going to get too wrapped up in other people's stuff. Uh, we'll leave it as it is. We don't want to get involved in any legal wranglings. Uh, I won't be falling for that, but I won't be playing no neutral part in nothing. Like you said, it's not my argument. It's not my fight. Uh, it's got nothing to do with me. I'm holding a lot of secrets uh, for when the book does come out that will shed light on a lot of things that people say that's happened inside there that didn't happen like that. Uh, you know, for instance, certain fights took place and, and someone said that that went that way and that went in that way, but they never... They're all shitting themselves because they know that I'll tell the truth, right? That's all. That's all. When you hear me talking like that, one one of you, my boy, you see, you've got it spot on. You can see, yeah, you're remembering. But we've got to look at it for, for what it really is. I spent my whole life in institutions since I was 10. It's obvious my character's going to come out, the great Yami B, when it, was, when it was all or nothing. I've got to, because when we're describing these characters, it was how I was at the time. You know, you know I'm a God-fearing man. You know that I preach education. You know that I love you all. You know that I haven't got a bad bone in my body. You know I wouldn't do nobody nothing. But, but, but when it comes to living a straight, normal life without crime, I've done that. I've proved that. I've had the demons, the drink, the drugs, the down, and all that. Up, down, up, down. I've been through all that. I met a few of you. Some might be not too pleased. Some might be unhappy. I might not have done things the way. But for two years, you lot have been with me. Every week, every day I look, my subscribers are going up. I don't even say like and subscribe. I never ask nobody for nothing. We're nearly at 10,000 again. This is my second channel on my own. We've got a quarter of a million views for little videos. We ain't even gone, we ain't even, we ain't even done, we ain't, we ain't even done, started the interviews properly. Think about that. True, the injuries and the little niggles was getting up and all that. Think about it. We'll be all right. We will be all right. If I'm all right, you're all right. Remember, I don't want nothing for nothing. They want nothing for my crimes, my crimes of, of harming people. They want nothing. But the one thing I won't ever get, I won't lie to you about, cat, the cat A's and certain people are really touchy subjects for me. They do bother me in some ways. And I have said, it is said on record, and I'll admit it, that I have told a few people that I'll meet you on the high road for one, if you want to have it. Do you know what I'm saying? I have said that. So that's showing bad behaviour. Uh, you know, I apologise for that. And it's on the moment that I could say such things. You know what I mean? But it seems like the people that I will fall out with will be ex-criminals uh, for some reason, right? So I do lose, I do remember certain things and I know certain things are lies. And all I could do is bring it, well, all I do is ever tell you what I'm feeling, right? But anyway, so after all these months, you find a you lot from Leicester, Right, you finally get your wish, and you lot, the great Warren Slaney supporters, you get what Yami knows. One of you said to me the other day, right? You said, Yami, you don't like Slaney, do you? No, no, at the end, I didn't really like him. There were some things that bothered me. I didn't get it, but I told him. Uh, I'll explain to you when we get to the end of the story. Uh, but I'll break it down from the beginning. Warren Slaney is one of the greatest warlords that ever walked through the Cates in history. That is fact. You can't get away from that. All the big names, you never, be, you never, all right, all right, you never, you never went, you never got into, you never had your, uh, one of your altercations, but I saw little things in mixes and little exchanges in letters and words that meant that you didn't really want to fight. You wouldn't want to really tangle with him. In his 20s and 30s, he was unbeaten. No, you've got to, you've got to talk to the truth. You've got to talk to the truth. Everyone fell over. Uh, that is a fact, Right? In later years, the last few, coming when he was in his 40s, you know, we're talking about 2000 onwards kind of thing, you started to have a few close ones and then you got caught slipping. And in, in, in an instant of you never hitting the deck, the myth became, the legend became kind of a bit mythical. But you all got to get old. Like he always says, yeah, me older, younger, fear, but no matter what, I'll still have it. No matter what, he's not stupid, Warren. He knows what it is. What hurt him the most? Let's get this. Let's get the facts right. 
It starts from the court case. The two hot dog murders. Right, during that time Warren was out, there was a lot of problems in nightclubs, demand ups, allegedly. He was throwing it around, they was worried they wanted to get rid of him. There was a lot of stuff going on. You know they were shook of him, you know that. Everybody knows that in Leicester, that when he was, when he, when he, when he was around, <laughs> it was real problems. When he, when, when he got the bird, and you remember he got convicted, you remember he had a, he had a all right, not bringing colour into anything, he had a black Cody, right? So the story goes, which I don't get, because I've seen him knock over white people as well, white geezers as well, is that, that every man that was black, uh, he wanted to fight him because his Cody grasped him and when Queen's evidence had turned against him because of, the, because of the feds. That's what they'd done to him. They railroaded him. It is fact. It is fact. I don't care what anyone says. They could say, yeah, but yeah, me, damn it. But yeah, I'm telling you what I know. And you know if I tell you, I'm going to tell you exactly what I read, what I read with my own eyes and my conversations and my natural ability to look at what he could be lying and what could be facts and what could be fiction. Do you see what I'm saying? Cause I'd like, but I tell you what, it hurt him bad. The double life hurt him bad. No, nah, he didn't. He wanted to get back out, Warren. He, he, Warren was a ladies man, you know. He got girls. He, Warren got, got, got girls. He, well, he used to get loads of girls. He used to like going out. He used to like his old 80s stuff, his things. He said, yeah, me play that again for me. Da -da 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 -da. He loved me, right? But the only thing is, them lot thought that he was bullying, not bullying me, but they thought I was a bit in fear of him because no one used to like sitting with him because of his character and the funny things he says and he comes out with some silly things and... Blah, but I used to shout, yammy, 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 and everybody used to be hiding and saying, yammy, he wants you downstairs, you know, because you know that, you know that, it, which to have me with him, his afternoon's going to be all right, but he'll sit at the dinner table on his own or whatever, and he won't call for no one. Uh, but people walk past, and all he ever says is, don't like him. That's it. That's the way it was, right? Now, if you're going to match him up, right, all right, if I'm going to say the only person I ever saw him scared of in my whole life, the only person that I ever saw him back down from and go, no, 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 no. I've never seen him do it to no one in my whole life was John Gray from Manchester. Fact. I'll talk to you about, more about John as time goes on, right? Uh, he used to talk to Tony Argent. They, they were close-ish. Uh, but you could see they were like little rivalries. Tony knew what he was on. Uh, Tony was just waiting for the day when he was going to start. And I knew that. I know Tony. I know how he thinks. I know deeply what he thinks. He, 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 all he's thinking is, I know that you can have it. I know that you might think you can do me. But get ready because I'm going to have it back with you. So I remember once I was sitting on the field with Tony Argent. And I remember, I just for Tony just finished telling me about something. As soon as Tony walks off, Warren went to me. He goes, I wouldn't listen to all that. Yeah. <laughs> But I know that you, you, in your later days, Warren, you could train. You go on the machines, you do a bit, a bit. You, but when you see Tony train when he fit and the strength, you can't match that. Not like that. So you know you're just saying to me that because you're thinking, yeah, you're rating him more than me kind of thing because you want me. And even though when a couple of those rows happened, when we had the fight on the football pitch and the other one in the basketball court and the one in the in the education thing and that when 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 GN and thing my man knocked out my man for me and when um, and then they they were, but it was like every time I couldn't have a fight Tony was there everybody was there everybody would want to fight for me you know at certain stages uh, like, what could I do but um, what was I just gonna say again. Uh, the fight, oh shit, what was it again? Oh yeah, Slaney, he went like that. He said, Slaney, he goes, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to just deal with that now? I thought, I said to him, no, 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 Warren, leave it. I don't want nobody to do nothing for me. Leave it because it's always going to look like that everybody's fighting for me. When really, when it came down to it, you know, I fell out if I'd to I'll tell you when he started to engage, but he had a fight with Fogo from Nottingham, right? So Fogo didn't know who he was. So this is the millennium. You're in full Sutton, right? You, Fogo's doing his little singing thing. He, you know, you get, you get them all in jail, all the characters. Fogo's got character. Uh, well liked, well loved. Fogo didn't know who he was. He started, didn't like the way Fogo was going on because obviously he's got character. More Warren's a bit like, I don't like nobody kind of thing. Uh, and he said something. Fogo fought him back and it was a draw. 
the exchange and he drawed. Yeah, then he found out who he was. The next day they went down to the gym. Fogo was sitting on the chair. I was at him, oh, that's the name. Because then they, he didn't know that that was the name that he was fighting. So Warren just stole it on him and broke his jaw, gave him a metal plate. That's what I'm saying. So that was after that. But you started to, there was little signs that the fighting was a bit, but then you had three, four, five, six, seven back-to-backs where you put people on the floor. But you're putting people on the floor a while without selling them. You see what I mean? It's not, it's not the easiest thing to do, but you can do that. If you get a free hit and you can punch, you're going to get knocked out or you're going to get knocked down. I've seen that happen to the best, right? Uh, and then you've done you, the, the, the two the brothers, the, and then Billy, what's it, Ginger Bill, whatever, but all, all that, then you went up Franklin and you got 16 of them, they rushed you. The whole of the, the Ackies, the Ackies are finally had enough of you. <laughs> they all rushed you, but they all got in a mess, right? They all got in a mess and he didn't come out with nothing. He only had a black eye and all that because there was too many of them on him. So that's when he went to Wakefield to lie down. There's no Andy Shacks had to go on and lie because that brought it all, all to all the, They all said, I, I, I'm not having Slaney dictate, just tell him, to, just bully who he's going to go and bully like that. But then, the moment came when you, 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 you had this thing for the Muslims and you thing and then you troubled, um, what's his name, from the East Coast, London, Daniel Cummins. And I, I'll do a piece on him one day. Daniel Cummins was one of the baddest, the, one, of, one, of the, one of the greatest youngsters uh, to ever come out of East London uh, for in the bad man life, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, he took on all sides and he took them all on his own. And when he went to jail, he had everybody against him. And then on a one life changing moment, uh, Slaney was starting saying, doing something. And Daniel Cummins is like 10, 11 stone. Thing that did, 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 but I know that he could have it already because I've seen him. You see what I mean? Because I know that he's got the bottle and I know that he don't fear nothing. Wham, bang, one punch, you was down, Warren. That was it. You was there. All of a sudden, everyone was like, What? But not even, what's his name, knocked you down? When you had a fight of him, what about him? He, he was bigger than him, he never knocked you down. He was looking, but you had to, you went down and you went down, you went down to a man who's younger than you. Did, 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 did. It happens to the best of us. And that's when, you know, you started to pick up weapons. You never used to do that before. Uh, you came back with something, not to a different one, and then you smashed their head in. But yep, 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 yep. That is how it went. But when you look back, when you go to the 90s and you go back to the, when you got the bird and the bit, the, the, all the bits, trust me, I saw him, what I saw from Bronson, I saw from Slaney down the block with the screws. I saw four or five hit the deck. Quickly, 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 pinging, 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 pinging. And I was watching and I was saying to myself, uh, on the yard while this was taking place, I was saying to myself, my days, my days, my days. This guy's got a rage in him that I don't see from no one. With Charlie, Charlie off, Charlie's kind of funny, if you get what I mean. Charlie played trick on you to make you think that everything's all right. And then he changed it. He, he could play the game back with his screws. Nah, 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 everything's all right. But when he comes out, he comes out swinging. Charlie's got more, you know, you know, you know with Charlie. But Warren Slaney, I've got to tell you, uh, many men feared him. And some of the greatest names feared him as well. Don't let them fool you. Uncle Yami tell you straight, they shit themselves from him. <laughs> and if I ever tell you, if I ever break down a few things to you, you will say, you, you, but, 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 you lot from Leicester with Warren Slaney, he goes down in my book uh, as one of the greatest warlords to ever walk through the Ks with hardly any defeats. And many men have had defeats. And remember, his defeats came in later life. Tell me a time in the 80s and the 90, when he got it in 90 and all the way through all that period where he was fighting all that time. Give me a name that came, give me a name that stayed with him. Go on, any of you, no one, see? All right, so that's Warren Slaney, right, for now. All right, so you got my view on it. I believe he's innocent. Could be wrong, I don't know. But from what I've seen, from what I've heard, I've got to go along with what I, I believe. And I'm not saying that just because he was once my bestie. I fell out with him uh, because he started to try to, try to it starts to put some funny tactics around me. And one day I went, on, I went into the shower one day and I saw fear in his eyes. Because I, I, I was only coming in to say hello to him, to say something. But when he saw me come in the shower, I think he thought I came in to do a hit on him. Remember that? And you remember the fight with GN? Remember that? Uh, with that, that weren't no fight. That don't go down as no one won that fight, right? 
because okay, no one went down, there wasn't enough time, there was a big scramble, Sam Cole, Tomo, Jono, everybody, it was just all a big tangle. That can't go down as a fight. Gary bit him, Warren swung, but Gary did say, he did say afterwards, he said, I got a left hook hand, uh, and I don't really want to feel that one again. That's what he said. That's what he said to me, right? He took it and then wrapped him up and bit him. But he said to me, yummy, that left hook boy, I tell you, yeah, my man can bang, you know. That, that, that's what he said to me, GN. Said that to me. There you are, a man who tells the truth. Talk to you more. Coming up today, Terry Adams, you lot get ready. Comedy moments, all right? Love you all, love you all.